Cause I don't care too much for money Cause it's a money good can't thing. buy me love It's a good thing you don't care much you about money all I got to because we're not going to have much of it in this country. Welcome back to the Power Hour. Thank you for joining us on the Power Hour today. Our guest is Bob Chapman. He does a newsletter, a financial newsletter that is top of the line. And if you would like to get a complimentary copy and subscribe to it, call 877. Whoa, where is all that noise coming from? 877-479-8178. 877-479-8178. Or go to the International forecaster.com. Now remember there's an E in forecaster, F-O-R-E-C-A-S-T-E-R. You can learn more about Bob Chapman there. He's only been in the business for 50 years and he's unlike any other financial predictor or what what would you call yourself? A financial forecaster, I know that, but what else would you call yourself, uh, Bob Chapman? I I think that's probably good enough. Uh, I just had a broad background in finance and economics. you know, over the course of 50 years, I've been a stockbroker and owned my own firm for many years, uh, 28 years in total. And uh, I've lived extensively around the world, so it gives me an, an outside-the-box view. Uh, it makes me look at things differently than other people do. You know, we talked about Money is Debt, which is a documentary that is just awesome in explaining how money works or how loans work. And uh, the conclusion of this, of course, is that 95% of the money in this country is not money. It is loans that create money, allegedly create money. And this is a pretty startling statement because the average person knows nothing about this. And let me ask you, what about the people on Wall Street? Do they understand how money comes into being? I would say that um, how money comes into being perhaps Fifteen uh, percent. Um, who understands the Federal Reserve? Perhaps two percent, and they're usually the top people in the firms. And uh, the rest of the people are salespeople. They're selling products, and uh, whether it's derivatives or or stock in General Electric or gold and silver shares, whatever. And so they don't get into that. Uh, most of them have high school educations and college educations, but uh, there are areas that people never got into. And they don't know that there's a fractional banking system that banks are supposed to be able to lend 8 or $10 for every dollar in deposit. Mm-hmm. And that's risky enough, but in the past eight years, and even now, the 19 major banks have been lending and still are 40 to 60 times their deposit base. We know and would... that's very bad. It's like a casino. It is. It is. I was talking to my father, who had been on the board of a bank at one point in his life, and I talked to him about how money is made or where money comes from. And, and he had no idea that the Federal Reserve was not a federal entity, and he had no idea how money was made. Even though he was on the board of the bank, I think they keep them probably ignorant of the real financial issues, they just want them there to be able to do what the bank wants to do. What would you say? I think you're right, and I think it's the quality of loan that they're making, and usually board members uh, final have final approval, uh, particularly on large loans, so they use their business acumen to make the help bank, the bank, to make that decision. Um, but uh, I would say that a good guess is 70% don't know. Mm-hmm. It, it's a very well-concealed secret. And if we're not for Ron Paul and uh, and his efforts over the years, and former Congressman Gonzalez, who is now deceased from Texas, mm-hmm. who tried and tried and tried to make changes and was unsuccessful, their work did not go in vain because people are now discovering. I've done over 100 programs on H.R. 1207 in the last three months, maybe more, I don't know. And lots of people, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on stations that have giant uh, listening audiences. So there were people who were finding out things about the Fed that they didn't know before. And I'm so glad, and it cannot come soon enough, that's for sure. Yeah, let's talk about uh, what you see happening on the uh, uh, 
the, the stock market front? Because right now, stock market seems to be going up. Things are looking good. Uh, what could your problem be with what's happening right now? Well, I believe that during the month of June, the market will flatten out and begin this trip back down again. It could last a little longer, but I don't think so. You're getting disintermediation. Now, I know all of you do not know what that means. Okay, I'll tell you what. we got a three-minute break, then we're going to go to Ted Anderson and dis... What? Dis what? Say that again. Disintermediation. Okay, we'll be right back after this three-minute break. And we got a huge special on shortwave radios at the Power Hour. I'll tell you about it after this break. Stay tuned. This is Joyce Riley. I want to open up the phone lines. I know some of you desperately want to talk to Bob Chapman. The phone number, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. If you have a question or comment, let's uh, get some really technical financial questions for this wizard because he seems to know a lot about what's really going on uh, covertly, under the ground, under the uh, radar. 800-259-9231, if you will. Uh, Bob Chapman, uh, what what do you see as, as uh, an indi- a leading indicator for us to be watching? Watching right now. I need Bob and uh, Bob Chapman. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. What is the leading okay. indicator that you see out there for us to be watching? Uh, disintermediation, and what that means is rotation of money from one place to another. And I can see money coming out of the stock market. And usually, when money comes out of the stock market, it goes in the bond market. But it's not doing that. It's leaving the stock market and the bond market, and it's going into commodities and gold and silver. And uh, I know that uh, the commodity and gold and silver markets have been up and down like a yo-yo, and that's because the United States government goes in and manipulates them. And they are trying to manipulate the bond market to have lower yields, but they've been unsuccessful lately, and I think they're going to be unsuccessful, particularly in the long end of the future. And in the stock market, uh, I think they're barely holding it up. And I think in July, uh, after June is over, of course, that we're going to see a correction begin. And it could, could last till the end of the year. And uh, we could test 6,600 on the Dow again. And all of you people who own gold and silver stocks, you keep invested in them. But get out of the market and everything else, sell bonds, go into gold and silver-related assets. So you're saying that they should keep the gold and silver shares that they have? Yes. Okay. But invest... I think gold's going to break through 1,000 during that period. And uh, historically, gold and silver shares, gold and silver, and the coins have always been the antithesis of the regular market. And... Mm -hmm. What happens when there's a major problem is that gold and silver and anything related to it will go higher as a place of safety. It's a flight to safety, and everything else will go lower. Okay, let me get with the exception of commodities. Okay, let me go. And I still hold the fact that uh, the uh, um, S and P went down to 750. That uh, that's it. That's it. I think once it goes down to that point, it can penetrate it again very easily. When we get back from this break, we've got Dave in Vermont. Stay tuned to the Power Hour. Back in three minutes with the Power Hour. Gentlemen, the waiting is over. Get involved. Get your supplies. Do what you need to do to get prepared. Welcome back to the Power Hour. This is a program that tries to do everything we can to enlighten you as to what's really going on in the world outside that television box. And I just want to say that uh, in USA Today, they had the statement on the front page, big bold letters, North Korea laces their news with propaganda. Oh, no, that's a shock. United States would never do that one, would they? But we're going to report on that bad North Korea who does those kinds of things. we got a bunch of callers here on the line, and I want to go to Dave in Vermont first. Dave, you're on the air. Go ahead, please, with Bob Chapman. Hi, good morning. Uh, last night on 60 Minutes, I heard the uh, Chairman Bernanke say, or the reporter say, I believe he said, that the Fed pays for itself and the profits go back to the Treasury. Did you hear that or did I hear it wrong or uh, uh, comment on that? I don't believe that that's true, is it? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, Bob Chapman? 
I did not hear it. It is true. But the cost of operating the treasury is all deducted, and uh, any lobbying and any things like that uh, are all deducted. But all the profits do go back. The key to the Fed is that it's control factor, the factor that they always have the inside information because they are making the market, so to speak. And all the people who are connected to them, they know what's going on in all those Wall Street firms and in other banks. And they take advantage of this information. And what you've just seen in the last 22 months 